I'm with Khalil Abu Gattas from Oasis in Betsuho. Now, Khalil, what is Oasis? Oasis Workshop is a, is a center that refers to health work committees that was established in 1985, and the, the Oasis Workshop was established in 1989 in Beit Sahur, and it's a unique workshop, a unique center that works with the people with the disabilities, mental uh, disabilities, and uh, this workshop that, uh, that's working for 14 year, uh, years, uh, now we have 10 uh, people with disabilities that uh, work with uh, recycled paper and with candles and with sand. We are uh, painting sand on the recycled paper that we made and we sell it inside the town and abroad. And why was the organization started? Uh, the organization was started because there is a need in the society for this uh, people that uh, they have uh, many problems, uh, that they face uh, many bad treat with the, from the society. And uh, the, the main idea with this workshop is to integrate the people with disabilities in the society. The workshop is uh, welcoming f- uh, the people with disabilities uh, five days weekly for six hours. And uh, in the end of each week, uh, Friday, they take their pocket money that they can uh, decide what they want to buy or uh, what they want to do. And they feel that they, they are something from the society, that they are working and they are doing something. So it's helping to give them dignity and peace. Are there many adults with special needs here in the area? There is a long list, uh, waiting list uh, with uh, people with disabilities, adult that uh, that's in the area and there's another there's a people in another area that they are asking us to if we can take the, them their uh, the parents but the problem uh, but there's no enough uh, organization to take these people and the Ozis workshop it's unique there is no another workshop or a center in Bethlehem area let's say that it's uh, like the same idea and there is a need for, uh, let's say, to increase our capacity to take more people with disabilities. But the, the center is uh, not uh, big enough to have m- more people and for financial issues. Now, you're obviously a charity, but does the government help you here in the land? Uh, no. Okay. The Oasis Workshop is a center that's referred to health work committees, and it's a non-governmental, non-profit organization. Now you have a workshop here for the adults. What do the adults make here? They make candles and they make recycled paper that we take from uh, offices, from uh, schools, and we make recycled and have a new paper that we use in the carts that uh, we paint on them with the sand. So is recycling new thing here in the Palestinian Authority? Yes. Uh, recycling, recycling paper. Yes, it's new for uh, for the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank, in all of the West Bank, and uh, in this by hand, by handmade, it's it's unique. And also, we use paper from uh, also not only offices and uh, schools, and the paper uh, like milk carton that uh, people throw away. We use it to make buckets. It's a special buckets from uh, paper. That's fantastic. It's nice to see that uh, something is happening in recycling and also helping the adults as well. Uh, also in the recycling process, we add uh, flowers, we add grass, uh, that we have a new product, recycled paper, new product, and it will be good to uh, have a nice uh, look, especially for the wedding uh, cards and baptism. So you're rec- recycling anything you can find? Yes, uh, nearly like this. <laughs> We are starting now a new line of recycling. It's the bottles, plastic bottles for the water or for the juice that we are going to recycle it to make some caves to make the grocery like the nativity. So you're using bottles to make a nativity. That's fantastic. It's great. How many uh, adults do you have here and what is their age range? The adults, you know, it's above uh, 19. Uh, We have one or two of the 15 uh, people we have. They are above 40, and uh, the rest is between uh, 25, let's say, and 40. Now, with all the products that you make, where do you sell them to? Does everything go abroad, or do you just sell things here locally as well? 
we are sell abroad and locally locally for the wedding cards for baptism they take the uh, candles for for some organizations that they want to make their logo like cards for them we make this uh, for the local uh, distribution for the abroad uh, there is special orders that we have from special organizations it's uh, very little uh, usually we have very little uh, orders abroad but the, usually they are spe specific orders so when people buy this product they're buying a great product but they're also helping somebody here as well aren't they of course because it's uh, first it's handmade second it's handmade by the people with disabilities and they take their need for the customer now with all these adults that are disabled what would they be doing if they weren't here oh this is this is really the problem because there is uh, not enough organization in our society for the people with disabilities. Uh, m many of the parents uh, of the people with disabilities, uh, we work with them that if they don't let their uh, child, their son, the people with disabilities, to come here, uh, he will be lost in the street. The people might abuse them and there will be a problem for them because they will be lost definitely. So it's important that you have them here working here rather than just be left on the street to do nothing? Of course, uh, it's, it's very important for the society. It's very important because th when the people with disabilities came to the Oasis workshop and he works, when he go back to the street, he, his idea is that, that he's a man like anyone or a woman like anyone else and he is working, he have, have money and he can take uh, his decision, he's, uh, he's, uh, he have his rights and uh, this uh, thing will change the the society looking for him when he uh, believes in his self. Is there a lot of respect for disabled people here in the community? Not all the community, uh, n not always, because uh, sometimes uh, there is no respect for the people with disabilities because the misunderstanding for the society with this kind of people, there is a big misunderstanding and there is a big, uh, sometimes many abuse for the people with disabilities. We are working to change and to integrate the people with disabilities in the society. And uh, that's why we uh, invite schools and uh, universities to come here to see what we are doing to make uh, the people in, uh, in many levels, uh, in each level of the society, to change the bad looking for the people with disabilities, from the schools to the universities to the people in the street. So this helps people in the universities and in the schools to understand disabled people here in the community. So why are you actually doing what you're doing? Because we believe that these people with disabilities are not uh, frightened and they are, they, they are people like us. They can work, they can make something special that, like their product in candles and in recycled paper and in sand, in painting on the recycled paper with sand, they can uh, take their decision in uh, some level, let's say. We believe that the society should change the bad looking for these people. We are uh, in a unique center, and my opinion, we are doing something special for the people with disabilities here that we are the only center in the area that looking to the disabilities people with uh, special looking. So we uh, offer them, we offer them insurance, we offer them health beside the, the workshop, we offer them uh, health insurance, uh, health care, let's say, and rehabilitation uh, beside the workshop and their uh, work because our organization is working in the health. We have a health center in Beit Sahur and the rehabilitation unit in Halhul that we work with them to, to get up with the level of these people with their productivity, with their acting, with their with daily activities. Of course, we give them pocket money that they feel that they work and they... The, the pocket money, it's, it's a little, but they feel when they have it that they work and they deserve to have money for their work. What's your hope for the adults in the area that are disabled? We hope for, the, for all people with disabilities that there's someone around, uh, find them, help them, uh, take the care of them and respect them. Give, give them their, uh, their rights and to stop having uh, bad looking for these people and uh, abuse uh, with these people. And what's your website for people who would like to know more? Our website is uh, hwcoasis.ps. Uh,
Okay, Khalil, thank you very much. You are welcome.